Hello, my lovelies! Welcome to Vita! Day 2, April 2nd! Sock Bun Day! Um, that is our hairstyle for today. Hashtag 30 Days of Hairstyles. Hashtag Torn Page. Hashtag I don't know. I feel so old sometimes, you guys. Any hoodles, it's Sock Bun Day. So, I have. I think it's six or seven varieties of sock bun on my channel, so do whatever one you want. I'm going with the simple one, but I'm going to do something with my bangs. Um, it is raining outside, so I am, yeah, I can't leave my bangs down and I don't want to pull them all back because then I get that bald look. So I'm just pulling this little section out. And clip it. Where are my alligator clips? Oh, they're right there. I was prepared for a change. Um, yeah. So I'm just doing a sock bun. Oh, BT Dubs. I told you got new sock bun forms. So this is my old one, which is really raggedy. Hmm. But this is my new one, and it's the extra large, and it is not as big. It's not. Now, granted, maybe because it's so new, it's still real dense, where this one's all smooshy and old. Maybe it'll expand, but as of right now, mm, extra large my butt. Uh, but that's what we're using, we're using the new one. So uh, for this hairstyle, in case you don't know, you need two ponytail holders, some pins. Uh, little ponytail holders for the little elastics for the ends of the braids if you want to do the braided version, which I am doing today. Yay. Okay, ponytail first. Any hoodles? Yeah, I love sock bun because it always looks super neat and tidy. Uh, I'm going to have to take my glasses off. It'll mess up my pony. Um, yeah, neat and tidy. Uh, sock buns are wonderful things. Torrin, why do you still call it a sock bun even though you're using a bun form? Because I learned how to do this with a sock. I actually made my own bun form out of a sock because back when I did this, they didn't have bun forms. No kidding, there weren't any uh, available for purchase anywhere, if you can believe that. So my first one had to be made out of a sock because they didn't have them. Now you can find them everywhere. They're everywhere online, they've got them at Walmart, uh, pretty much any place that you can buy, you know, hair ties, combs, brushes, etc. You can buy a bun form, which is groovy. Okay, we got ponytail. It feels smooth enough. Suck. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? I had to make notes. Hold on while I read this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. RuPaul's Drag Race is back. Um, over on VH1 now, um, I used to watch it on Logo, and I know I'm not sure if any of the other seasons, but I know last season they were running uh, replays on VH1, which is groovy. But um, yeah, now it is exclusively on VH1. And man, you can tell because all of a sudden, Rue's got a budget! A big budget. Um, yeah, everything looks beautiful. It's in HD. Yeah, it looks great. Um, although, I have to say, um, the way of, there's another hair tie, the way of some of the drag queen makeup, uh, you know, it's pretty uh, heavily applied, and sometimes, alas, HD does a bit of a dis disservice to their uh, craft. Um, not a horribly terrible disservice, but... I can see some lines and edges a little more than I could. Um, not quite as bad as Miss Fame's uh, tape was that one season. Um, not to take anything away from Fame, because Fame can beat a face better than anything I've ever seen. But uh, yeah, she was real bad about her wig tape showing uh, sometimes. Although I can't imagine trying to get ready in such a shortened time frame like they have to on that show so no shade no shade fame I'm just saying uh, 
her face was always so exquisite. Um, any hoodles. Uh, yeah, I'm super stoked that it's back. I missed my queens. Um, even though I do keep up with them online uh, when I can. I want a little baby victory roll today, you guys. Um, I do try to keep up with my with my queens online just because, uh, especially because I'm fans and have been fans of many of them for years now. I have to hairspray that into place. I'm going to pull this back. Uh, should we wrap under or over? Let's go under. I'm just going to wrap this around this whole mess. Get it out of the way. Then I'll hairspray that. Right now, I'm practically doing my hair blinds because I don't have my at the edge. I'm not even going to pin it. I'll just stick it there. I am going to spray. And then I can put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Because right now, I can't see anything. And some of you may be questioning this, as in, I thought it was raining. Yeah, well, I'm only going from the door to my car, etc. I gotta put my glasses on, I can't see. Um, does it look okay? I got myself a little swoop going, ah, it looks all right, it's not great. But, it's all right. Yeah, the thing with victory rolls on the really long hair, they make them a little bit difficult because I've just got so much left over. And I have done them in the past where I use all of the hair, but it makes for such a giant roll, it's just not, Super pretty. Let's see. Yeah. I'll go ahead. Anyways, braids. So what I'm going to do to keep mine nice and balanced is I usually take the leftover hair and actually make two braids instead of one. Uh, and then I can wrap them around and it's kind of the same uniform thickness, whatever. So back to drag queens. So you guys know I love drag queens. I love the art. I love the community that they have got going on for themselves, and uh, I love all the sassiness and the shade, and the, well, I don't know, they're very honest, too, about how tough sometimes their lives are, and then how wonderful it is that they found, you know, a family and a tribe of people who understand what they're trying to do, and I love performers, because they're just very creative folks. So, you know, and, and of course, you've got big hair and makeup and stuff covered in rhinestones and stripper shoes, and I love all that stuff. So, uh, I've always said, um, if I had been born male, I probably would have ended up being a drag queen because I just, I love all of this stuff. Um, yeah. So, uh, Looking at the girls that we've got this year, uh, my front runner thus far is Nina Bonita Brown. Um, she, I looked her up online just to kind of see what sort of stuff she has out there on social media, and she is one of those uh, makeup artists. Now, think of like Made You Look that can kind of paint her face to look like other people and things. Yeah, Nina Bonina can do that. Uh, she also likes to cosplay and stuff, which is really interesting for a drag queen. Um, I find that that does make a whole lot of sense. I mean, they have to transform their gender. And uh, in order to cosplay, sometimes you have to transform, you know, your race, everything because, you know, he cosplays aliens, anime, whatever. Um, so I find that uh, very interesting. Species, I should say species, not race. I was thinking like a race of aliens and a race of humans, but species, species is better. Any hoodles, yeah. So uh, I have high hopes for her. Also, she seems really cool and fun and yeah. Um, the other girls in my top, uh, I have to say, because um, I do watch Untucked, uh, which is here on YouTube. It's kind of a behind the scenes little chat fest with all the queens. And uh, I am pleasantly surprised with Miss Pheromones thus far. Um, she's the gorgeous blonde from Vegas. Um, I really thought that perhaps she had been cast as the 
beautiful mean girl and she's not mean she actually seems to be a really nice person so I just kind of want to give her a shout out for not being the pretty pretty mean girl sometimes the fishy queens get a little uh I don't know like since they're not a comedy queen or a dance queen um and you know they're they're, I guess the main part of their drag is looking as much like a lady. Um, sometimes they get a little bitter. At least ones in the past have, of course. This is a reality TV show, reality. So I'm sure some of them are cast to play their parts. But I'm just really tickled that she wasn't cast to be a, you know, a mean girl. She's just beautiful and happens to be nice. Um, who else? Uh, Charlie Hyde is our oldest contestant ever. So... Of course, I'm rooting for Charlie as an old lady myself. Um, also, Charlie really seems to have a very dark and weird sense of humor, which I love. Um, that's my bag. Uh, shout out to Sasha Valore, another one who seems very funny and very creative. Um, so I think she's going to be a strong contender. Uh, Shea Coulee, same thing. Um, Sasha is very, very uh, artistic, and I, I do like that in a queen. Um, and uh, Shay is more on the funny side, but I think uh, they could be a lot of fun, the two of them. So we shall see. And finally, Valentina, who is absolutely beautiful and an absolute baby drag queen because she has only been at this for 10 months, which doesn't even... I can't even comprehend that. I'm going to wrap these around now. So I'm very excited about um, this season of Drag Race. Uh, I think they got a lot of, or a nice, a nice mix of queens. And it seems to me that uh, getting to go over to VH1 will be uh, cool. Uh, the, uh, the bigger budget especially <laughs> is noteworthy in and of itself um let's see trying to tuck my littler braids underneath the fatter braids as it were because that's the way i like it you want the fat ones on the outside let's see how it looks for putting pins in it i think i can feel my ponytail holder i can no i guess that's i might be able to feel it but i can't see it and that's what matters. Not that it matters, because I'm putting roses in this sucker today. Good enough. Time to pin. You pins today, just to pin it down. Uh, make sure everything stays where I want it to. Yeah. Do you guys watch Drag Race, or am I all alone in this? I love that show. I love Rue. Uh, I just think he's an amazing human being and uh, I like that uh, he does so much for his community and just for people at large. Um, he's such a positive soul and I think we need more really positive people like that in the world so I'm glad he has made himself available um, for things like that. Alright, I'm putting roses in because of course I am and I'm going to spray that again because it's already fallen. Roses. So, yep, there's my ponytail holder, and that's what these are for. We cover up works with pretty things, and you might say, isn't one rose enough? No. Why would one rose be enough when we can have two? That's just silly talk. Two is always better than one. <laughs> I really gotta spray this. My bangs, it's because I cut them. I trimmed them short so I could wear them down more because I knew I would be wearing, I can't find my hairspray sitting right in front of me. I knew I'd be wearing uh, my hair up a little more as it's weather starting to get warmer, which means that I don't want my bangs in my face sometimes, but since my hair is not going to wear it all up, it's nice to have bangs down when I want them down. Anyways, there, I think that is good. Oh, there we are. We're done. There's our sock bun for today. I'm not adding any more glittery things, just a couple of flowers, because I'm only going up to the store to get some dog food and creamer. <laughs> so exciting. 
My life is so exciting. Not. Any hoodles, uh, let me know your feelings on Drag Race. Uh, who are your favorites? Uh, do you like one of the other ladies that uh, I did not mention? Um, maybe you do. Maybe you have a different favorite. One of those your favorite? Uh, really pulling for Nina Bonina, though. She interests me. And maybe Sasha. Sasha might also really interest me. I like the really artistic queens. Any hoodles? Uh, that's enough about drag queens. It's never enough. Well, for now, from me. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's just the Nautilus. So I'm going to have to come up with something fun to talk about because that's going to take us two seconds. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, until then, have a great day. Don't forget to post your pictures of your sock bun, whichever variation, and your hashtags. Hashtag 30 Days of Hairstyles. Hashtag Tour and Page. I feel like such a goober saying those things, but maybe by the end of the month, I'll feel more professional. Who knows? Alrighty, love you guys. See you tomorrow on Nautilus Day. Have a great day. Bye.